let us discuss bond energies as our last subtopic in the topic energy changes simply known as thermochemistry bond energies are usually used in uh, estimating the enthalpy changes in chemical reactions in any chemical reaction bonds are broken when the reactants take part in the reaction and bonds are formed in the resultant product and formed in the products when bonds break heat is absorbed we had said that earlier and when they form heat energy is released since chemical reactions involve both bond breaking and bond formation it implies that the heat of reaction is the sum total energy therefore heat of reaction is uh, the sum of the total energy required for bond breaking and the energy released during bond formation very important examples calculate the enthalpy change number 1 calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction that is methane reacting with the chlorine in the presence of uv light to form ch3cl plus hcl gaseous so given that what is given is what we are going to use in calculating the enthalpy change so we are given bond and bond energy
so that is carbon to hydrogen bond energy in kilojoule per mole is 414 chlorine chlorine bond is 244 kilojoule per mole carbon to chlorine bond is 326 kilojoule per mole and finally hydrogen to chlorine bond is 437 kilojoule per mole now for us to understand well the enthalpy change for the reaction we need to show how those bonds are obtained how the bonds can be seen so that is in methane there is carbon bonded to four chlorine atoms like that then chlorine there is a chlorine chlorine bond and we are forming chloromethane one chloromethane that has that bond that is the open structural formula then finally hydrogen bonded to chlorine bond breaking let's first deal with bond breaking so that we see the bonds that are broken there is carbon hydrogen bond being broken and there is also chlorine chlorine bond so that is carbon hydrogen bond for the attack to take place there has to be this breaking sorry this is methane where carbon is bonded to hydrogen so there is carbon hydrogen bond that is broken and that is plus 414 that is bond breaking kilojoule bond formation will be done after that another bond breaking is chlorine chlorine that is breaking that bond only one is broken so we have plus 244 kilojoule total bond breaking energy is plus 658 kilojoule let's get to bond formation so the one that is formed is carbon chlorine first and since it is bond formation we are now taking negative 326 kilojoule then another bond that is formed is a hydrogen chlorine bond in the product and that is negative 437 if we add this we get negative 700 and 57 kilojoule delta h the enthalpy change therefore enthalpy change will be plus 658 plus minus 757 giving negative 99 kilojoule as the enthalpy change for the reaction above we can show this information as well in energy level diagram that is y axis x axis
So the overall reaction is exothermic. So we have that. CH4. Plus chlorine gas in the presence of UV light. Then delta this activation energy delta h is negative 99 kilojoule and we're having the product as ch3cl plus hcl gas reaction path and then we have this as the enthalpy. Another example. That is number two. Below are bond energies. In a table, use the information to determine the enthalpy change for the reaction. change for the reaction so there is a C2 H4 that is for ethene undergoing hydrogenation to form ethene that is C2 H6. The bond that we're given and the energies bond energy in kilogel that is hydrogen hydrogen bond 432 carbon carbon bond 610 Carbon triple bond is 835. Carbon carbon is 346. Carbon hydrogen is 413. To calculate, we have to write that equation using open structural formulae thereafter it will be very easy to calculate the enthalpy for the reaction that is the enthalpy change during at that given reaction now it is a thin that is a thin that is reacting with hydrogen bonded to another hydrogen to form alkane that is called ethane. Bond breaking. From this reaction, you are able to realize that the carbon carbon double bond is broken that is the first one carbon carbon double bond which is of 610 
kila gel the other one that is broken is a carbon hydrogen bond sorry hydrogen hydrogen bond the carbon hydrogen is retained the hydrogen the hydrogens are still in uh, the carbons they were in in the products so it means that the carbon hydrogen bond has not been broken down we've only a broken the carbon carbon and hydrogen hydrogen bond and that is of energy a positive 432 so total energy for bond breaking is a positive 1042 kilojoules let's get to bond formation the bonds that have formed the first bond formed that is so clear is carbon carbon single bond that was not there initially and uh, the carbon carbon single bond is of now negative 346 it is negative value because it is a bond formation an exothermic reaction meaning heat is released uh, during a bond formation another bond that is formed is uh, we have two new carbon hydrogen bonds that were not there in the reactant side so that is two carbon hydrogen bond uh, giving us negative 413 times 2 that gives negative 826 kilojoule therefore enthalpy change will be plus that is delta h will be plus 1042 plus minus 1 if you add this well you get that addition now will give minus 1172 so that is 172 finally gives negative 130 kilojoule so that as well can be shown in the energy level diagram another question which is our last example number 3 use the bond energies given below to calculate the heat of reaction for hydrogen plus chlorine gas to form two of hcl gas the bond is hydrogen hydrogen bond then bond energy for that is 435 there is chlorine chlorine bond that is 243 and finally we have hydrogen 
chlorine bond that is four hundred and thirty one let us solve so to work out this we have hydrogen hydrogen bond that we must write in open form that is hydrogen hydrogen bond plus chlorine chlorine bond forming two hydrogen chloride bonds that is hydrogen chloride plus hydrogen chloride bond see the two in the equation above bond breaking we have hydrogen hydrogen bond being broken is of plus 435 we also have chlorine chlorine bond being broken it is plus 243 that gives a total of plus 678 kilojoule bond formation that is hydrogen chlorine in fact there are two so that is minus 431 and the other hydrogen chlorine is also minus 431 totaling to negative 800 and 62 kilojoules therefore enthalpy change delta h is a 678 plus minus 862 that gives negative 184 kilojoule as our enthalpy change for the reaction between hydrogen gas and chlorine gas to form hydrogen chloride gas that is all about bond energies and we have realized that when you are dealing with bond energies it is a matter of knowing which bonds are broken and which ones are formed during the same realization it is important to note that the coefficient that is the moles of the product or reactant we have will show how many bonds exist between those reacting particles we have seen that in a case whereby we are forming two moles of hydrogen chloride meaning there are two bonds between hydrogen and chlorine that are formed remember it is also important to know the whether you are breaking single bond or double bond because it is this that will help to get exact bond energy that is given in the table that contain different bonds and bond energies that is all about the topic energy changes that we've discussed so many things which involve enthalpy change enthalpy change enthalpy change so it is important to note and know where each and every concept is uh, applied